Oh, All right, we talked about this, so let's bang out yeah. the middleweight. Uh, clarification occurred with the fight being made, Canelo and Danny Jacobs. Can you give the fans a little behind the scenes of how that came together? Did it come together because uh, Golovkin said no to a no. third fight? Or no, I think, a little behind the scenes. I actually. certainly think Golovkin's not going to fight Canelo on May 4th, so he needed an opponent. There's no one in to fight the very best opponents available. I think we all agree that's Danny Jacobs. So the zone pushed, we pushed, Golden Boy accepted, and I have to take my hat off to Canelo and Oscar and Eric because it's a tough fight. This is a this is a 50-50 fight in my opinion. And you know, he's going into that fight, he's done a massive deal with the zone and the zone wanting to be in those big fights and it's unbelievable news for subscribers. Isn't it nice for Oscar to be able to say pay-per-view is dead? Right when there's an actual pay-per-view yes, exactly. caliber right. level. And there'll be a lot more coming up over the next couple of weeks because that's really the key for the zone to work. Because it's one thing saying you don't have to pay pay-per-view, but if you don't have the pay-per-view fight, it doesn't really mean a lot, does it? So Canelo Fielding was nice to be free, and it would have been pay-per-view on another network, but it's a 300,000 pay-per-view fight. This is a million pay-per-view fight, in my opinion. So now, for the first time ever, really, you have a network of broadcasters who is paying the cost of the pay-per-view themselves. Right? And it's, it's really unusual, and I think people really have to embrace it. Um, you referenced, when you're talking about 